Welcome back to Living Local. No matter your age, seeing a magician perform can be a very entertaining and exciting experience. When kids try their hand at learning magic, they can enjoy a host of benefits, including public speaking, problem solving, and creativity. Joining me in studio once again is professional magician David Casas. Thank you so much for being back here on Living Local. Thanks for having me again. Appreciate it. Yeah, so David, uh, you have been on the show before, yep. but remind us, what's your experience being a magician? How did you get into this? So I've been doing magic for 21 years, uh, full time for about 18 of those years. Uh, after high school, I moved to Las Vegas and I worked there for a year. I moved back to the area. I'm from Muscatine, Iowa originally. Uh, so I've been doing magic all over the Quad Cities now for quite some time. Wow, what attracted you to learning to perform magic? Uh, watching it on TV, I've always loved to entertain people, travel, so you get to meet new people, and just the uh, joy you bring to people is what I love the most about it. Definitely, and you're hosting a summer magic camp for kids. So what yes. made you want to do this? Uh, so I wanted to teach kids, I guess, the next generation of magicians, keep the art alive. I love working with kids, and uh, I, love, I just love working with kids, so I thought, what better way? Let's do a magic camp for them. Definitely. Okay, yeah. so what kind of magic tricks will they be learning? Uh, so I like to teach a very basic sleight of hand, so it's all very beginner-friendly magic. Um, things I like to use, things that you can find maybe around the household. Uh, so just everyday items such as cards, coins, rubber bands, uh, things like that. Uh, so yeah, just very be basic beginner stuff, uh, but very fun stuff. And David, today you are going to demonstrate a magic trick and then you're gonna teach me. Yes. So first of all, let's see a demonstration. Sure, so this is actually one of the actual tricks that kids will learn at my camp. Uh, it's an old trick, it's a classic, it's the classic cups and balls. It uses three cotton balls and it uses uh, three cups. So basically you place the ball in the center cup and all you do is snap the fingers and the ball goes right through just like that. Whoa. So we'll do it one more time. Yeah. We cover the cups and goes in the middle and give a little wave this time and it, once again it goes right through. Oh my gosh. Just like that, two balls. Are there holes in these cups? Uh, well, no, but this time uh, <laughs> we're gonna do something different on the last one. Okay. This time I'll take the cotton ball, we'll place it in the hand, I simply blow, it disappears, and it goes right under the cup, and there's three balls, three cups. There oh you go. Oh my goodness. So yeah. It all happens so fast. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> it is magic. Okay, now I am ready to uh, be a magician in training. Yes, so I brought a very basic beginner trick to show you. Uh, so that's for you. Okay. So this is another one I teach in my class. It's very simple, very easy to do. Uh, so I'll perform it real quick. It's a rubber band. You place it on the two fingers. Okay, like this? Yes. And I'll show you how to do it in just a minute. But when I give oh, it okay. a wave, it jumps to these two fingers. Oh! And then you can have it jump right back. Now, Brittany, so I'm going to have you place the rubber band on these two fingers. Okay. You're going to pull it back. And then you pl place all your fingers inside. And then you're going to slowly release it and let it rest just below ah. the knuckles. And then your thumb kind of holds it. And then you hold it like this from the front. The illusion is it's just on these two fingers. But, but the it's secret, it's on all of them, <laughs> yes. So you don't perform it like this. You sure. perform it this way. And then I just like to add the little magic wave. But you're just going to open your hand. But I like to make it a little more theatrical with the wave. Yeah. And you just open your hand. All right. So like, OK, I'm going to make them jump from there to there. Abracadabra. Boom. There you go. Just, <laughs> there you go. And then, and then to do it back, it's the exact same thing. You just put your fingers inside again, and then it just jumps oh, yeah. right back. Just jumps like that. There you go. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, David, this is you your go. second year of yes. doing the Kids Magic Camp. Yep. So, uh, what kind of response did you get from kiddos last year? Uh, so, they really loved it. Uh, they were asking me, oh, can we do it again? Can we do it again? The parents really enjoyed seeing their kids. Uh, some of the kids were kind of shy, maybe, uh, and it kind of brought them out of their shell by the end of the week. Uh, they were just loving it. Uh, they learned all the tricks and they wanted, hoped that I would do it again this year. So here I am again. Awesome. So David, obviously you mentioned that it can boost confidence for kids. Yes. What are some other benefits that you think kids can gain from learning magic? Yes. Uh, Self-esteem is a, bi a big one. Uh, as you said, confidence. Uh, creativity is also another big one. It's, each kid will learn the trick and then they'll each go up and perform it, but they'll all perform it a little different. So it's very cool just to kind of see their creativity and gets them a chance to also speak in front of the public. So a little public speaking, confidence is a big one, so. 
And David, you have been performing magic for 21 years. Obviously, you're incredibly passionate about it. What do you enjoy specifically about working with kids? Uh, just seeing the, it's very rewarding to watch them once they're learning the tricks, they get all excited. Um, and like I said, the big thing is just keeping the art alive, of magic alive, passing my knowledge down to the next generation of future magicians. Okay. Um, so I just love working with kids and this is a great way to kind of give back as well to share my knowledge of my 20 years to, to the kiddos. So Why do you want to keep this craft alive? Uh, magic's uh, it used to be that you say it's like a dying art, mm -hmm. but uh, it's very popular these days. Uh, you have America's Got Talent. They always have great magicians. Uh, Penn and Teller Fool Us, another popular show. Uh, Masters of Illusion, their shows on Netflix. Um, so to me, it's just very important. I'm passionate about it. I've been doing it for so long, and I just want to keep that alive and teach the next generation, like I said. And it's very popular right now, so might as well keep going. Yeah, now uh, this kids camp is just one way that you can keep perpetuating the art form of magic. So what age group of kids can attend the camp? Yeah, so we have two different groups. Uh, the first age is 9 to 12, and then we have a se second group, which is 13 to 15. So it's not just for the little kids, uh, it's for, you know, it's for all ages. Mm -hmm. uh, but we specifically gear it towards 9 to 12 and then 13 to 15. And we encourage both boys and girls, because I got an email once and from a lady, she's like, oh, my daughter wanted to know if she could do it. And I said, well, of course, <laughs> like there's women magicians. So we encourage both boys and girls. Uh, so nine to 12 and 13 to 15. And when is the camp happening? So the camp starts next week, uh, July 8th through the 12th, Monday through Friday. Uh, it's an hour and a half class. Uh, so, and what's really cool is at the end of the, uh, the magic camp on Friday, we invite the parents in and their family and friends. And uh, we put on a little magic show of what they learned in class. And then as a special treat, just as a thank you, uh, I also will perform a little sh uh, show myself so they get to see what I perform in my show and the kids really like that too. Oh, that sounds like an absolute yeah. blast. So how can kids get registered? Uh, they can go to the, uh, the Spotlight Theater's website. I believe it's the SpotlightTheaterQC.com. Uh, or you can also uh, find information on my website too, davidcasasmagic.com. And on my tour page, I have a, a direct link to the Summer Magic Camp and it takes you right to the Spotlight Theater's website. Well, David, in addition to hosting this kids camp, what other types of events are you involved with? Uh, I do, I teach classes uh, all fall and winter. Um, and uh, of course I'm available for hire, but I do a lot of library programs in the summers. I do a lot of wedding receptions company parties, so I'm pretty active in the area. I also do a lot of uh, fundraisers and uh, for nonprofit groups, and so I stay pretty busy. So if someone's interested in booking you, how would they go about doing that? Uh, visit my website. It's probably the easiest way, davidcasismagic.com. Awesome. Well, yep. David, thank you so much for being here once again. Thank Thanks you. for teaching thank me you. how to do magic. Yes. Yes. Uh, never will be on your status, <laughs> of course, your level, but we always appreciate you being here. Thanks you. All right, you guys, for more information, visit davidcasismagic.com. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local rolls on right after this break. Stay with us.